Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be going over the Image-C800S 8-cell charger and how to use it. This charger charges up to 8 AA and AAA nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries independently. When I say charge them independently, that means you can charge any amount of batteries you want. You can charge one battery, three batteries, or any amount up to eight batteries. And yes, you can charge both double A's and triple A's at the same time. This charger has a rapid mode, which is a default charge, a soft mode, and a conditioning mode. I'll go over these modes in just a bit. It also has a LCD screen, which displays the status of each battery. To get started with any of the modes, always start with no batteries in the charger. Plug the power connector to the charger first, then plug the AC adapter to the wall outlet. Now you can insert your AA or AAA batteries in any slot. We recommend inserting your batteries in slot 1 first, from left to right, for best performance. Always insert your AA and AAA batteries from the bottom negative side first. For AA's, use a top silver contact here. For AAA's, use a bottom silver contact here. You're going to push the contact back just a bit with the battery. Don't push it down so it can stay tightly in place. Okay, now let's go into when and how to use each of the modes. Please note that the charging time may vary for each mode depending on the battery capacity and how much charge is remaining in the battery. As I mentioned before, the charger has a rapid charge mode, a soft charge mode, and a conditioning mode. We'll start with the rapid charge mode. The rapid charge mode is the default mode. You just insert the batteries, no button selection is needed. It does a fast charge, charging your batteries in about 1-2 to two hours. It is suitable for batteries with a capacity greater than 800 mAh. We always recommend charging at a slower rate whenever possible. It maximizes the battery's life and its performance. Also, if charging has started in the default rapid charge mode, you can no longer change it to a different mode you must reset the charger to start over. This happens when no other mode has been selected within the time frame. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery starting in slot 1 from left to right. Once all the batteries are inserted, it will start charging each slot. Each slot number will have a flashing filled in battery icon with the word charge on the top, indicating the charging progress. Charging time will take about 1 to 2 hours. Once a battery is done charging, the filled in battery icon will stop flashing, disappear, and a solid down will be displayed for each slot that is done charging. You can now remove the charged battery and use it. To completely turn off the charger, just unplug it from the wall. The soft charge mode is recommended if charging time is not critical. It maximizes your battery's life and its performance. The charging time is about two to four hours. Please note that the soft charge mode is activated for all battery slots at the same time and cannot be activated for each individual battery. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot 1. Within 5 seconds, press the soft button until the soft charging symbol is displayed here on the top. Now you can insert the rest of your batteries.
Each slot number will have a flashing filled in battery icon with the word charge on the top, indicating the charging progress. Charging time will take about two to four hours. Once the battery is done charging, the filled in battery icon will stop flashing, disappear, and a solid done will be displayed for each slot that is done charging. You can now remove the charged battery and use it. The charger will remain activated as long as there are batteries in the charger, even if the charging has been completed. Once all the batteries have been removed, the charger will reset to the default rapid charge mode and the soft charging symbol will disappear. To completely turn off the charger, just unplug it from the wall. For the conditioning mode, it is used to rescue degraded batteries and also helps batteries that have been sitting in storage for a while. It rejuvenates and cycles batteries. It applies a special conditioning cycle which restores battery performance. We recommend using this mode every six months or once a year to ensure battery performance. It does require up to 16 hours to complete the cycle, so it's definitely something you want to do when you have the extra time to do this. Please know that the conditioning mode is activated for all battery slots at the same time and cannot be activated for each individual battery. To use this mode, insert your AA or AAA battery in slot 1. Within 5 seconds, press the conditioning button until the condition symbol is displayed here on the top. Now you can insert the rest of your batteries. Each slot number will have a flashing filled in battery icon with the word charge on the top, indicating its progress. The conditioning mode will take up to 16 hours to complete. The conditioning cycle does the following steps. It will charge the batteries, then it will discharge the batteries, then it will recharge the batteries. The charger will display a solid done when the batteries are conditioned and fully charged. Please note that it is normal for all the battery symbols to disappear from one or more slots towards the end of the discharge step. This indicates that the discharging step is almost done and the recharging step will begin soon. During the discharging step, the batteries that finish before the others will show the charge symbol. However, the actual charging will not begin until all the batteries have finished discharging. Also, it is normal for the right side of the charger to become warmer during this cycle. The charger will go into standby mode once all the batteries are done conditioning. To completely turn off the charger, just unplug it from the wall. I'll go over some of the most frequently asked questions we get for this charger. The first one is, is it normal for the batteries to get warm? When charging is almost done, the batteries may get a bit warm to touch. The battery temperature will quickly drop after charging is done. Also, older batteries or batteries in poor health may get hotter after charging. What does it mean if the charger doesn't recognize the battery? It means the battery is bad. But first, make sure the battery is properly seated. You can also remove the battery and try it in another slot. If the battery still can't be recognized, it might no longer accept charge and should be recycled. Can I leave my batteries in the charger? Once the batteries are done charging, you can leave them in the charger. You don't have to take them out right away. However, we don't recommend storing your batteries in the charger once you store your charger away. We recommend just using a battery holder to store your batteries. They will also be more organized this way. And that's it. I hope this helped answer some of your questions on how to use the charger. Make sure to read the manual that comes with the charger for more details. You can also find the manual on our website.
feel free to contact us by email or by phone if you have any questions or need assistance using the charger. Our tech support team will be more than happy to assist you. Please like this video if it helped and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.